Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode of what will be a mini series on using Matchstick to write unit tests. So what Matchstick allows you to do is test your event handlers and function handlers in a sandboxed environment. And what that means is you can mock out your event um, objects, how you expect your events coming into the subgraph to look like, and then test if your handler functions really do what you expect them to do. So over here, you can see um, we've provided a little demo subgraph to give a quick example of unit testing. And uh, in this subgraph, inside of the mapping file, we have uh, two event handlers and one function handler. But today, we're only going to be focusing on this event handler, handle new gravatar, which um, expects an event. Uh, in this event, we can just peek into the generated uh, folder. It just have a bunch. It just has a bunch of fields. And what the handler function is doing is it takes those fields and then it saves the entity to the store. Um, now, what's important here is that this is a really simple event handler, but essentially what most event handlers do is they take an event, they run some logic on it, and then they save the respective entity to the store. So this is not far from most use cases. Of course, the handler function can get really big, um, but, at the end, it takes an event and then saves an ent a, a generated entity from things from the event uh, to the store. So let's actually write our first unit test. Now, before we do that, we will do yarn add matchstick as, which is a helper library that will uh, aid us in writing these tests. So if we peek into the package JSON file, there we go, matchstick as is, is the newest version. Uh, we will also add a quick script here, yarn uh, test which will do graph test. There we go. Now, into, in the root of my subgraph, I will do a directory called tests. And then inside, I will create a gravity test TS file. Now, um, first thing we need to do, first thing I, uh, I'm going to do is I'm going to paste a helper function. Uh, and I highly recommend you to write a helper function for your specific events because it makes the process much easier. Uh, let me just import the things that we need to import. Um, by the way, a lot of things will show up as errors in my ID, but don't worry about that. That's just because the ID thinks that this is TypeScript, but we know that this is actually assembly script. Um, cool. So what this helper function does is, is it expects a couple of values which are then used in order to create a mock event so a, a mock new gravatar event with these values uh, not, i'm not going to go in depth because it's, it's actually really simple it's just it's just creating a mock event uh, in a nutshell um, so we also need this new mock event function but that one is going to come from the library that we've just installed so we are gonna do we are gonna do import new mock new mock event from and this is a little uh, a little uh, this is kind of a weird syntax but uh, we need to say from match the ks dash assembly dash index just get used to that uh, and there we go we actually have all of the boilerplate necessary to write our first unit test. So we can say, uh, we also need to import the test function from match the chaos. And we can say test um, can handle new gravatar. Uh, this will also need a callback, which is essentially our test. And then inside we will say new, uh, let new gravatar event, gravatar event equals our helper function, create new gravatar event. And we're gonna give it everything it needs. So first off it needs a, uh, event ID, which will be something like, uh, I don't know, one, two, three, four. Uh, then we need the owner address, which can be whatever we want. Um, let's just say it's something like this. Then we're going to need, um, what was it? Display name. So the display name uh, in the event, which will be my gravatar name. And last but not least, we need uh, our image URL, which can be whatever we want. Even an empty string will do, but we will say my image.jpg or something. There we go. Now uh, we will use our handler function. So let's actually import our handler function, handle new gravatar from 
source gravity. There we go. Now we will say handle new gravatar with our newly generated mock event. And that's really all there is to it. Now, just to make sure that this is working, we're going to say, um, we're going to bring in the assert uh, class, I don't know, from match the chaos, and we will call assert field equals. Uh, then it wants the entity type. In our case, that it's a grab, it's a gravatar, I believe. Let me just double check. Um, yep, that's what we need. Uh, then uh, gravatar, <laughs> gravatar. Then we need a um, entity ID, which is this thing as a string. Then we need to give it the name of the field whose whose value we want to check. So uh, in our case, that will be display name, and then the expected value, which is my gravatar, uh, my gravatar name in our case. Let's do the same thing for the image URL. Let's say image URL, we want that to equal this. All right. Now, in order to run our test, we just do yarn test. And what this is going to do is uh, it's going to check our operating system and then it's going to fetch the respective matchstick binary for our OS. In the near future, this approach will be shifted to Docker, so you won't be experiencing any, any issues with it. There we go. Um, our test has passed. Can handle your gravatar is working. Let me just mess up something real quick just to show you guys what it looks like when a test fails. And there we go. Expected field image URL to equal this, but was my image.jpg. So I hope you guys like that. Um, that's all I have for this video. So see you in the next one.